Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Andrews boys. Of course, the leading contender for the world's light heavyweight title. Here he is, Paul Andrews. Paul Andrews. And from Superior, Wisconsin, here's the youngster who meets Joey Giardello next Wednesday night. Norfolk, Virginia, ladies and gentlemen, Al Andrews. Al Andrews. And may we remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that the Chicago Boxing Writers and Broadcasters Association will sponsor its second ring dinner in the Palmer House, February 6th. Rocky Marciano will be honored as the person who has contributed the most in boxing in 1954. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, ring officials have been appointed here by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. The judges are Howard Walsh, Ed Hint, the timekeeper Charlie Seidbotham, counting for the knockdowns at the bell, Mike Murphy, the attending ringside physician, Dr. Irving Eastlot, your referee, Frank Sikora. This is the feature presentation of the evening, 10 rounds, middleweight, both weighing 159 pounds. From Yonkers, New York, he's wearing the black trunks with a white stripe, 159 pounds, Ralph Tiger Jones. And from New York City, wearing the white trunks with a black stripe, he also weighs 159 pounds, the former world's welterweight and middleweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. And ladies and gentlemen, here is referee Frank Sakura with the instructions for both contestants. And ladies and gentlemen, no smoking, please. You boys received your instructions from the Illinois State Athletic Commission. I'm here to enforce that. I want a clean break at all times. Be careful of your kidney punches and your rabbit punches. In case of a knockdown, I want you to go to your furthest corner and stay there till I tell you to come out fighting. Also, in case of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Is that understood? Shake hands and come out fighting. And so we're ready now for the opening bell of this scheduled 10 rounder. That is the corner of Ralph Jones. His uh, seconds just leaving. Joe Ginder is already down at the bottom of the steps. And Sugar Ray Robinson in the far corner. Jones at 159. Robinson, who retired as the undefeated welterweight and middleweight champ to go into the theatrical business. Now very serious about a comeback. Sugar Ray in the white trunks. Jones, who is very effective inside, very good at body punching, and Robinson, of course, wonderful at long range with that snappy left jab and the right cross. was in this ring that, back in 1951, that Robinson turned in quite a shellacking over Jake LaMotta after the first eight rounds were about even. Robinson was just a trifle short. There can be no doubt that both boys came here tonight to fight. One minute remaining in round one.
Little trickle from the nose of Sugar Ray as Jones is scoring repeatedly. is over. Sugar Ray going back to his corner and in that last 30 seconds I saw Sugar Ray and I'm sure you do take about as much punishment as you ever saw him take in any one round unless uh, you might recall one of the Turpin fights. He's had a total of 138 bouts winning 132 losing three and two draws and uh, lost on one technical knockout when he was trying to win the light heavyweight championship from Joey Maxim. This is his second in his comeback. Two weeks ago in Detroit, he knocked out Joe Rendon in five rounds. His first fight in 1940 at Madison Square Garden paid Sugar Ray only $100 since that time, though. The ante has been upped a lot. Now, Tiger Jones from uh, Yonkers, New York, who has shown in the very first round that he's not afraid of any of Robinson's press clippings and it's going to have to be won or lost in that ring tonight. Tiger has had a total of 47 bouts, winning 32. He's been in a losing streak of late and hopes to get out of it tonight. This is round two from the Chicago Stadium. Ray Robinson on the white trunks. Tiger Jones in the black, both boys weighing 159. Late in round one, Robinson was shaken up by several good head punches by Tiger Jones. Sugar Ray intending to stay at long range if he can, as Jones is going to Sugar Ray all the time. The crowd lets you know what kind of a rally that one was for both boys. It appears that there is a slash in the right eyebrow of Sugar Ray Robinson. One minute to go in round two. What terrific action. Ready for round three as the handlers of Sugar Ray worked on his right eye. Between rounds, neither man has been down, but we've had two bruising rounds. Tiger Jones in the black trunk, Sugar Ray in the white.
notice the difference in height. Difference in height. Robinson 5'11". Tiger Jones 5'7". Sugar Ray with quite a bit of reach. But inside, that Jones boy is tough. Jones talking to Robinson constantly. And the eye of Sugar Ray is starting to smear a bit around the right eyebrow. Probably the best blow of the fight. Robinson's overhand right. Robinson retreating most of the way, but counterpunching beautifully. Tiger Jones continues to press the attack. and gentlemen, Jack Trees, who does so many of our fine path ribbon bouts is with us tonight. Uh, Jack, uh, how does it look to you so far? Well, looking at the comeback attempt of Sugar Ray, Russ, certainly he's got a ways to go yet before he approaches what he used to be. Notably absent are the great reflex action that was always his, where a punch seemed to be on its way almost as an opening developed. He's missed several here. He's up against a tougher opponent tonight than uh, most people, including the boxing experts, suspected. Tiger Jones has lost five fights in a row, but tonight he is pounding away at Sugar Ray, has cut him in the eye, and of course has cut him in the nose. Robinson seems to be his strongest, Russ, in the early moments of the round. Seems to wear down a bit as the as the fight moves along. We must, of course, remember that this is only a ways to go on that comeback trail. It's a good fight, I'll say that. We'll have to go along with that. I guess you notice the very wonderful crowd that we have here at the Chicago Stadium, ladies and gentlemen, to watch the second comeback fight for Sugar Ray Robinson. Here he is in the white trunks against Ralph Tiger Jones, both boys weighing 159. Nobody has been down so far. Referee Frank Sikora has had a fairly easy night so far as there's not been much clinching. They patch Robinson's eye up between rounds. Very nice. This not causing any difficulty now. blow in the midsection caused Jones quite a bit of pain. We saw him British team.
Robinson trying to bring Jones's defense down with that steady pound to the body. Here in round four at Chicago. Say this Jones stays right after him all the way. Robinson pauses once in a while to look up at the clock to see how much time is left on a round. As Jack Reed remarked, it's toward the end of the round that Sugar Ray seems to run out of gas. From the Chicago Stadium in Chicago, Illinois, scene of some of the greatest fights in history. Sugar Ray Robinson tonight trying to regain the winning touch against Ralph Tiger Jones. This is round five, and for the first four, it's been a bruiser. Robinson's right eye slightly swollen, but no longer uh, dripping. Both boys at 159, and there's not been a dull moment so far. Robinson has not had too much of a defense against the left hand of Tiger Jones tonight, particularly against the hook. Jones was asked which man he'd rather fight, Robinson or Olsen, and he said Olsen because Olsen would come to him and he'd have to chase Robinson, and that's what's happening tonight. Round five, neither man has been down. was more of a slip on the part of Sugar Ray. <laughs> Round five is over. Robinson back to his corner. And quite a laceration on the right eyelid. <laughs> Round six from the Chicago Stadium. Tiger Jones of Yonkers, New York. Certainly the underdog in tonight's contest against Sugar Ray. 
Robinson in the white trunks. Robinson rolling beautifully with the blows, but still absorbing quite a few. One minute remaining in round six. They almost wrestled to the floor there. There was no punch. Notice uh, Robinson once in a while, you'll see him turn his eyes toward the clock to see the number of seconds remaining in a round. Let's go with round seven, ladies and gentlemen, of the scheduled 10 rounder at the Chicago Stadium tonight. Robinson Sandler's a bit slow leaving the corner as they put in the mouthpiece for him. Over the first six rounds, Robinson has certainly run into much more rugged, rugged opposition than he expected. As Jones, in splendid condition, has been forcing the fighting and has certainly dealt out quite a bit of punishment to the fellow that has been called from time to time the greatest fighter pound for pound. And American boxing history. Over our Pat Blue Ribbon microphone as Robinson on the ropes is calling on all of his ring generalship. It's strange to see Robinson take two, hoping to land one. We've never seen him do that. Sakura is watching it very closely to see if Robinson is in danger of being badly hurt, but apparently he's not. One minute to go in round seven.
another look up at the clock by Sugar Ray. Round seven is over, and that's a tired but triangle looking Sugar Ray back to his corner after running into very, very stiff competition from Tiger Jones, Bob Nolick's fighter out of Yonkers, New York, as you can see, working on the former champ in both the welter and middleweight divisions. Then over into the corner of uh, Tiger Jones, who doesn't show a mark so far. He has absorbed some terrific jolts to the kidney as Sugar Ray has been trying to bring down the guard of the very determined Tiger. But so far, he's not been able to do it. In the last round, as Robinson was on the ropes early, Frank Sakura was watching very closely. By the way, fans, the fifth annual Pabst Open Invitation Mixed Double Tennis Tournament will be held at Charlie Farrell's Racquet Club in Palm Springs on January the 21st and 22nd. That should be quite an event, as many celebrities from the sports and entertainment world will be on hand to play. Round eight. Tiger Jones in the black trunks, Sugar Ray Robinson in the white. If you're scoring, remember, give the winner of the round 10 points. And the loser, less than 10. Although all of the rounds have been very, very close. Eighth round of the ten rounder. Jones going with the overhand right now. Huh? Robinson's face, a crimson smear. difficulty breathing. Tiger hasn't changed expression since the bout started. Ready for round nine from the Chicago Stadium. Sugar, Ray Robinson in white trunks, Tiger Jones in the black. Both boys weighing in at 159. And this has been a very rugged scrap all the way. Neither man down, but both boys taking a good stiff punch. The seconds of Robinson have done a wonderful job between rounds as Ray started to bleed from the right eyebrow in round two. But they stop the blood every intermission.
Looks like the former champ is putting on a desperation attempt to knock out, Jones. Certainly very few clinches in tonight's affair. One minute remaining in round nine. over and there is a very tired Sugar Ray Robinson who was stung and stung plenty in the last 30 seconds of the round. You know Sugar Ray won the 147 pound crown December 5th 1945 and he won the middleweight title on February the 14th here in Chicago knocking out Jake LaMotta. He lost the title to Randy Turpin in London on July the 10th 1951 and came back on September the 12th in the polo grounds to win it back. One thing about uh, Sugar Ray, he's been one of boxing's most gracious performers for charity. He's fought for the Cancer Fund and the Runyon Fund and is very glad to make charity appearances at any time. He's putting up to me one of his greatest battles tonight as he's come back after a long period of ringing activity. Has run into a fellow that's proven much tougher than he figured to be. And yet Ray is uh, still battling and battling hard and was trying for the knockout early in round nine. Let's see what will develop here in round 10. That is Sugar Ray Robinson in the white trunks, Tiger Jones in the black. Would you call the pursuit of Jones relentless? He really stalks him all the time. Robinson's had trouble putting together his combinations tonight. 
Music can land the left, but the right will zoom over the head. One minute remaining in the tenth round. Sugar Ray whistling them in, trying for the knockout. He missed those by at least six inches. Both of them whistled over the head. A Tigers out. It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. Sugar Ray Robinson and Tiger Jones entertaining a whale of a crowd at the Chicago Stadium in Chicago, Illinois, with a slugfest that began with the opening bell. Over many of these stations. After we say goodnight to you, Brent Barber will interview a fellow that uh, has been known as Mr. Basketball for many years, George Mikan. We uh, remember here in Chicago, as in uh, most states now, it is the 10 point must system, scoring 10 points for the winner per round, with the judges and the referee catching the ballots. The loser getting less than 10, 9 or 8, although we didn't see any round tonight that could have gone less than 8, uh, although we're was uh, almost null and void tonight. Here's Ben Bell. Here, ladies and gentlemen, the official scoring by point. Judge Howard Wall scores 98 points. Ralph Jones, 89 points. Ray Robinson. Judge Ed Hinn scores. 100 points, Jones, 88, Robinson. And referee Frank Sakura scores 99 points, Ralph Jones, 94, Ray Robinson, winner by unanimous decision, Ralph Tiger Jones. Ralph Tiger Jones upsetting the dope bucket entirely and um, stopping, or rather stopping the cut.